Hi, I'm Severio from Hornet Plugins. Um, today I would like to show you how we can use uh, uh, HornetFrax, uh, our multi-track spectrum analyzer, to clean up the different tracks and make them work together without frequency overlapping. The peculiarity of this plugin is the ability to show different tracks on the same spectrum view so we can uh, clearly and easily see where those tracks share frequency space and create room to make them uh, sit accurately in the mix. Um, we will um, use an acoustic drum recording made of different uh, microphones, recordings, and uh, we will um, um, clean up uh, all the different tracks with uh, our Total EQ uh, equalizer um, to make uh, the tracks work together. So, Without further talking, I will um, show you um, the session here. We have uh, our drum bus made of the kick drum mic. Uh, the snare track is made of two different mic, one uh, above the snare and the other below. Then we have our, our hi-hat track, uh, tom, flow tom, uh, and uh, our hoverheads left and right, and the mono room mic. Uh, we are not concentrating on the tom tracks because they are gated anyway and uh, they rarely play so they don't contribute that much to the complete sound. So we will first look at room and hoverheads together because those two tracks usually um, have uh, almost the same content so they almost overlap always because they are ambient mics, but we want the overheads to capture the cymbals and uh, uh, the, highest, the high frequency part of the kick of the drum set, while we want the room to give us the overall sound of the, of the drum set. So let's see how we can uh, use multifrax to give uh, those two tracks their space. So as I told you, you can clearly see that they both occupy the same space. We will enable the conflict mode and see uh, in which frequency we have to concentrate the most. It seems uh, the most um, issues are in this uh, 200 hertz, uh, 250 hertz uh, area. So what we're going to do is uh, to high pass the overheads because uh, we don't want the overheads to capture all the rumble and the sound below 200 hertz. So first we will go in the overheads track get our total EQ and I've already prepared the EQ curve and enable it. I've used a very steep filter because uh, I want to clean everything down below 200 Hz and uh, let uh, in this area only have the kick drum, uh, the lowest part of the room uh, and uh, the body of the snare uh, to have it more tight. So let's see now with the EQ enabled what happens. Overheads and room selected. So no more conflict down here. That's what we want because uh, this area is very problematic like it's this area here. So we want to make sure that everything is uh, as clean as possible. We are not caring that much around here unless we have uh, very nasty resonances that we are not having here. So just a general cleanup. Now, what we are going to do is uh, to take care of the room track because we want to make room for the kick drum and uh, we want the kick to be uh, very clean at, uh, and uh, not uh, roomy or boomy, so uh, 
uh, we, we want to remove all the room sound from this area down here because as you will see the kick lies around here and uh, uh, we want uh, to high pass so the room, the room track. So let's see how they both work together, kick and room. And uh, if I enable the conflict mode, Okay, the problem is here, so we want to cut everything from here in room, so we will have uh, the space for the lowest part of the kick drum to breathe. So we will take our total EQ, I have already prepared the high pass filter like I did with the um, overhead track, we can also lift it up up to 70 years. I have also added a small notch here to clean up the mud area and have the room sound more hi-fi and uh, also a little bit of brightness. So if I have a look to how those two tracks work together now. You see now the, the, there is more space for the kick drum. We can do even a little bit better probably. So I will lift up up to 100 Hertz and uh, see once again. Great, uh, now we have solved the problem down here. We will now add uh, the hi-hat to, um, to, to, to the spectrum analyzer so we can see if uh, there are some problems in this track too. Probably there will be some rumble in the lowest, uh, in the low frequency and maybe a little bit of spill of the snare drum. Okay, we have the spill of the snare and uh, some noise down here. So, what we are going to do is to high pass the hi hat track very deeply at around 200 Hz and uh, add a small notch to clean up the mud and uh, a little bit of brightness to make the, the hi hat more fizzy. So, if I enable the EQ now and look at the frequency conflict. Well, we can do even a little bit, even a little bit better, so I will lift it up until 250 Hz and look back now. Great, definitely more clean. And now it's time to take care of uh, kick drum and snare. Since those are the main, main uh, uh, sounds of, of a kick, uh, of a drum set, I have prepared uh, EQs that are good for them. In the kick, I will uh, cut everything uh, below 30 Hz because really there isn't anything useful down there. And um, I have lift up 50 Hz with a, a small uh, 
bell bump uh, because uh, this is uh, where the, the, the thump of the kick drum lies and also enhanced a lot the, um, the sound of the beater because uh, I want uh, um, a brighter kick drum. So. Now that I have equalized the kick drum, we see that there is some kind of conflict down here between kick and snare. They both stay in the center of the, of the stage, so they need to uh, have a less conflict as possible. Even though they usually don't play together, we need to remove the resonances that we have in the tails of the sound. So if I enable the conflict mode, So, to take care of this, I will uh, enable the EQ on the snare and you see that I have uh, cut everything below 70 Hz, removed uh, something uh, around here at 200 Hz where uh, the thump of the snare is and also added uh, uh, some uh, brightness around, uh, around here to make uh, the, the sound of the snare more bright. So if I look now at the equalizer, the spectrum analyzer, sorry. Okay, snare and kick now work well together. We need to make sure that we don't have problem between uh, overheads, room and snare. So, first thing, I'm going to uh, put the overheads and snare together. This is exactly what we want. We want the snare to be both on the overheads and the kick and uh, the snare mic, of course. But we don't want spill down here to the, um, to, to to make uh, the the kick more dirty. So uh, the overheads is fine. Now let's look at room mic and see if there are some resonances that we need to fix. Probably the room has a little bit too energy around here, but uh, this may not be a problem. To see if uh, this is an issue, we will have uh, to use another instances of multifrac on the bus. We can see using uh, only the, the view of the drum bus, the overall spectrum and see the balance. So it seems quite right, probably a little bit too much resonance is in the snare here and here and uh, we can fix them using uh, the EQ, EQ on the snare with a, a wider Q and a little bit less gain here. Yeah? So if I now look at general spectrum
Now, of course, we should take care of levels, but I, th I think they are pretty good as they are. What I've done is just uh, to clean up some sound, uh, I haven't changed too much the level. So the mix we did when the sounds were raw is uh, still pretty good. And uh, we now can add uh, compression, limiting and whatever to the overall, uh, to, the old, to all the sounds that need them and uh, have the drum sound good together. So here we are, this was a way to use uh, our multi-frex uh, spectrum analyzer to fix problems and help you mix different tracks together of a single acoustic instrument like uh, the drum kit that needs special treatment on any of the mics. So this plugin is available on www.honeplugins.com we offer the offer a 100% money back guarantee if you don't like the plugin within 15 days of your purchase. So if you have any suggestion or any question, just uh, write down below the video. And thank you very much for watching.